A woodland stream can be a mystifying thing to come across while exploring. The calming trickle of the water and the sparkling of light off its ripples can leave one transfixed. A healthy stream will be teeming with diverse life forms, from tiny invertebrates to schools of fish. So down by a stream you can find a lot of different stuff. Today we're looking for frogs, but there could be all kinds of cool amphibians and other creatures down by a creek as well. There are many clues that can hint at the health of a stream. Many aquatic insects are unable to survive in polluted waters. Just as our target amphibians are sensitive animals, these insects can serve as good omens that predict a successful frog hunt. This stonefly is one such indicator. Their nymphs die in the presence of pollution, so this stream must be very clean. Now, clean water does not mean drinkable, but it does mean the local ecosystem is healthy enough to support a plethora of interesting creatures. If this stonefly is thriving here, there's likely some interesting frogs living nearby as well. So right here along the bank of the creek, it's nice and muddy and there's lots of these elephant ear plants. This is a great environment where a lot of different things could be using for camouflage and cover. And we could be able to find some frogs using these as a hunting ground. So we're gonna hop over this creek here and see what we can find. While I wasn't expecting to see one of these down by the creek, I'm not completely surprised to see our first frog. This green tree frog may spend most of its time in the trees, but it may find its way down here to the creek to hunt for insects or to breed. The frog sits perfectly still on the leaf of the elephant ear, its bright green coloration and inconspicuous shape allowing it to blend right in. It takes a keen eye to spot one of these frogs hiding amongst the leaves, but spotting them is the hard part. All right, so right here, we've got a nice little tree frog. I'm gonna grab him real quick. The green tree frog is a fairly docile amphibian. Once it's been captured and no harm has come to it, it will sit comfortably in my hand, so long as I don't make any sudden moves. The daytime is not its active time, so it's more content to conserve energy and to put up a fight. Don't underestimate this tree frog though, its slender hind legs are packed with muscle, and the slightest wrong move will send it catapulting into the nearby foliage. With its superior camouflage, all it needs is one good jump to vanish into thin air. So yeah, definitely wasn't expecting to find a tree frog out here, but I will say one thing, the deeper, the deeper along the creek we travel, the more types of frogs we'll be able to find. So, I'm actually out here in a part of the creek that I really don't come out to very often because uh, it's places like this where I'm most likely to find a frog that I haven't seen before. The further you travel along the edge of a stream, the more opportunities for wildlife encounters you will have. But following along a stream is not a simple task. The water and shifting ground create mud pits and loose sand that can swallow your feet, and various plants growing along the edge serve as obstacles that can block or hinder your progress. Green briar vines grow in large tangles near the water's edge and are more than just a roadblock. The razor-sharp thorns that grow along the vine are the plant's cunning defense mechanism and cut into the flesh of anything that tries to pass. The vines can grow to staggering sizes, becoming thick, rigid stalks with layers of thorns. These horrific vines are nearly impassable, and you will find that many times they are what stand between you and your target animal. Right in this patch, there he is, is a little green frog. Now these guys, despite being fairly common, are notoriously difficult to catch. And this guy is right on the edge of the creek. So one wrong move and he's gone. He'll shoot right into the stream and he'll swim underneath some sand or shoot downstream and I won't be able to catch him. They're fast on land or even faster in the water. So I'm gonna get one shot at this. Possibly one of the most familiar frogs to anyone in North America. The green frog is a common sight along streams and ponds. What they lack in novelty, they make up for in their sheer difficulty to catch. The green frog has incredible reflexes, 
and will often leap into the stream as you approach, before you even have a chance to spot it. While not impossible, catching one with your bare hands is a difficult task. You need to think several steps ahead of the frog, or happen to catch one off guard. I'm gonna need both hands. I'm just gonna have to hope that I don't miss them. And hopefully, I'll be able to grab them with this hand. He's not super big. The bigger ones are actually quicker. There he goes, into the creek. On any given day, it can be hard to predict what creatures you will encounter while exploring a creek. At first glance, this little frog might look like a juvenile green frog, but this is in fact a cricket frog. It resembles the members of the true frog family greatly in its pointed, hydrodynamic frame, but it's actually a ground-dwelling member of the tree frog family. The bumps and patterns that line this frog's body give it impeccable camouflage on the forest floor along the creek's edge, and its three-foot jump can make these little frogs incredibly difficult to catch. All right, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to use a stick. I'm gonna have to chase him off of this little mud flat here, because that will literally swallow me whole, and I'm not sure how deep it is. So I've got my eyes on him. I'm not trying to catch him with this little maneuver. I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't go this way. I want to get him back towards where I want him to go. There you go, buddy. Okay, he went this way. Come here, you. All right, this time, I think it's official. Yes, yes, okay. I just need to get him to come forward. All right, he's in this pile of leaves. Ow, thorns. Ah. The cricket frog is one of North America's three smallest vertebrates. At just over an inch long, this frog can be extremely unassuming when sitting relaxed among the leaf litter, and will even be hesitant to jump as you approach. It relies on its camouflage to evade its predators, but don't underestimate it. It can jump more than 30 times its body length. If you don't follow it in the air, it will disappear into the forest floor. On the damp, muddy surfaces that it calls home, it'll be hunting various insects and their small invertebrates, which walk past it, thinking it's a leaf. Finding a cricket frog is always exciting, but who knows what other bizarre wildlife is lurking around this forest stream. Maybe we'll get up close and personal with some more of these crazy creatures in a future episode. For more backyard adventures, check out the video on your screen. I hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.